honestly, Facebook ads today are, maybe they're not as easy and as awesome as they were in terms of the opportunity, like they were like eight years ago, but they are so good still. I mean, local businesses have the opportunity to target key demographics in their market. Um, my question is, um, my, my clients, they run a lot of boost ads and they, they think that it's going to convert because it's so easy to run. <clears throat> and I like to kind of move them away from that and start using a PR tool to mm -hmm. say, Hey, you know, I have something just as easy. And this is what you guys need to use rather than boost and boost doesn't really, you know, move the needle. You haven't had ads, uh, you haven't had, um, you know, leads from it. So let's start using effects. Mm -hmm. What, what should I, what, what would be the plan for that? Sorry. It's like 6 a.m. here. <laughs> no, you're good. So, so is your question why should why shouldn't people use the boosted objective? Why they shouldn't? Because I have a lot of like real estate clients, not love a lot, maybe about five, and they just they they take pictures. You know, they take I take pictures of the property and I send it to them, and mm -hmm. they would say, "Yeah, I'm going to boost this and create their own ad." Say, see, okay. this is this is great, Virgil. We don't really need you, you know. Okay, I'll give you a couple of things. Now, a, a lot of people do not. A lot of people think that boosted posts are Facebook ads. A couple of things to know about boosted posts. Yes, you can. Um, so, Facebook ads. What do they do? They they deliver impressions. That's what you're paying for. Okay, but every objective and every tool they give you is has a purpose. Okay. When you do a boosted post, first of all, the number one drawback of doing a boosted post is it defaults to the person's personal Facebook profile. So that's Sam Carlson's thing, just boosting it out there. Okay. That's the number one thing. The number two thing is the reason that the ads manager exists is because maybe you want to do different things with your ads. When you do a lead form, what are you asking the algorithm to do? Get your leads, right? You're not going to get that with a boosted post. You might get that. I mean, you might be able to put out a boosted post. And if you, <clears throat> you know, if you know how to write ads and stuff, or if you know how to write well, then you might get some results, but it's not going to become like that silent assassin that you need to get sales every single day. In order to do that, you need a strategy, which is why, I mean, honestly, Facebook ads today are, maybe they're not as easy and as awesome as they were in terms of the opportunity, like they were like eight years ago, but they are so good still. I mean, local businesses have the opportunity to target key demographics in their market, okay? The other thing is the algorithm that you choose so lead forms, um, conversions, messenger, right? Those all have their own, they're part of the algorithm. I posted a video this week um, when I, where I was talking about targeting and how most of what we hear about targeting on Facebook, Facebook is kind of BS, okay? Which, and the reason is, is because there's already AI that is analyzing and evaluating the creative that you put in a marketing campaign and it delivers it to the people based on what it analyzes from what you say and the images and videos you put in your ad. Here's why that's important. And, and, I'll, and, and I'll loop this, I'll try and loop this back to boosted campaigns. Um, if you are in a market like Hawaii, did I say that right? I mean, kind of, yes. okay. Yes. And you're in like Honolulu, and you'd have people that want that you want to like say, hey, we want to buy and sell real estate. Boom, you're gonna be like, yeah, I mean, how how wide is the island? I mean, if you do like a five mile, six mile, 10 mile radius, you're gonna get the whole island, right? Yeah. 
And on the island, there's, um, you know, a million people, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to make it based on demographics, okay? And then you're going to make your ad speak to the people who want to buy or sell. And Facebook is going to know that without you layering in any interest. Like, you don't have to be, you know, they have behaviors like likely to move or whatever. You don't got to yeah. do any of that. You don't got to do that. You just put it on there and Facebook will figure it out and they will figure it out before they even deliver an impression. Okay. So they know what it is. That means that you have a strategy and you have a plan. If you want to get consistent sales, you're not going to do that with boosted posts. That is not, I mean, boosted posts. I, I honestly, um, boosted posts are a mechanism for Facebook to get money, capture money from Normal people, like people who have no idea how to do marketing, people who have no idea how to do sales, or, or I'm sorry, like online marketing, they don't have any technical prowess at all. They're just like, oh, boost, right? That's a way for Facebook to capture money from the less sophisticated, the less planned marketer. Mm -hmm.